and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Puff Cap Plunder. This is a fun deck to play. Teemo is just a really fun champion to play. And so, you know, that's that's our Puff Cap part of our deck is Teemo. And then we have Clump of Wumps, Puff Cap Peddler, Chump Wump. And so what we're doing is we're, we're uh, trying to give our, our opponent um, these uh, Mushroom Clouds. Or let's see, I guess we give them, we technically give them the Poison Puff Caps. So we're trying to give them the poison puff caps because whenever they draw a poison puff cap that counts as them taking damage towards plunder effects and specifically here in this deck the most important thing of course is sedgewani because we want to damage the enemy nexus in five different rounds each round they draw a puff cap that counts um and then also uh you know uh this this ability here whenever we damage the enemy nexus for the first time each round frostbite all enemies so we can like we can like untap and even before we attack if they draw a puff cap then it'll frostbite all their enemies and we can just go ahead and attack on in with that also uh wolf rider is our other plunder card to gain a mana gem because we have we have some top end but yeah besides that we just got a bunch of spells um, Starlet Seer is really an all-star in this deck, especially how you do create all these mushroom clouds with Clump of Wumps and uh, Chump Wump. So you have a bunch of like cheap spells to play for Starlet Seer to grow uh, things on top of your deck. Uh, we have a Babbling Bjerg to, to draw Sejuani, or I guess sometimes we'll draw something that like Starlet Seer pumps up. But, you know, this will help us uh, be a little bit more consistent of uh, curving out with Sejuani with this one Babbling Bjerg. And our top end, you know, like we we want the card advantage, so we got progress day because it's like this deck we do want to play a longer game because the longer the game, the better for puff caps killing our opponent. So we don't want to just like be super aggressive. We do want to make sure we have a, a pretty good late game. So we have some um, cards that help us play a longer game, like harsh winds, progress day, getting us that extra uh, gas in our hand. But then we can also finish games out too. We got one battle fury in here where I can Battle Fury Teemo for lethal. I hope we get to do that. Hope we get to Battle Fury Teemo. Um, a lot of people with this kind of deck play like Fury of the North and, you know, it's like a one-time pump spell. I think Fury of the North is a, is just fine. It's not bad, but um, I don't know. Instead, I, I kind of wanted to go with some more permanent effects, you know, like Battling Beard, Wolf Rider, Harsh Winds, Battle Fury, um, you know, that kind of stuff. But here we go. I'm, I've been excited to play this deck. This is the deck I've been really looking forward to playing today. So let's have some fun. Sejuani is really good. Teemo's really fun. And we'll put them together. It's just a good looking hand. I'm going to keep it. Even with no champions, it's just fine. We got our turn one Hawk. Ash Sejuani, as you all know, that's a deck that I enjoy playing. A lot of people play their versions a little bit differently than mine. Who goes there? Get it? Who goes there? It's an owl. No, calling strike. Ugh. That's a card I don't play, but man, that that was a great pulling strike right there. Hmm, that hurts. <laughs> You'll never hold down the three four starlets here. Can't hold him back. It is a risky attack. I was hoping that my opponent would be worried about spells that I have and everything. Yeah, just take it. Faster than my arrow? I think not. All right, so normally we would want to play Puffcat Peddler first, but it's probably safest just to Thermogenic Beam immediately. Under one 
All right, we'll just block that with one of these Omen Hawks. If I block with a 2-2, I can get excited to kill it. But I'll just, I'll just keep the 2-2. Or if I block with the 2-2, we can block with one of these three powers also. Battle Fury. Not the best right now. We kind of need our champions for that card. They should have a one mana 5-5 five five by now. This is where like a progress day, like, you know, we drew the wrong A drop. Think if we would have drawn progress day right here. That would have been amazing draw. It can't be. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Play dead. Blessed by snow and stars. And I think I keep the other one to discard. Ugh. Come on, Timo. Be great to draw Timo. Timo, yes. Another day in the field. Let's go, Timo. Now they could definitely have you know like harsh winds and things like that, but if they don't, they're just like dead. No frostbite. Battle Fury. This would be a good winter. Come on, let this happen. No harsh winds. No harsh winds. Still have a 9 8 or 12 8. <laughs> Alright, still have a 12 8. So it could be worse. Hey, Battle Fury is sweet. Talk about an under underplayed card. I haven't seen anybody else in this archetype play Battle Fury. Draw those puff caps. Logic says, I'm a big fan of this deck, but I struggle with when to use Progress Day. Do you have any tips? I mean, the earlier, the better, honestly. Just, like, basically, as as long as you're not getting too far behind, like, on the board, if you have, like, a, if you have any turn that you have, like, an off turn and you have the ability to play it, the better. Because having, like, having access to those cards that it, that it gives you, the earlier, the better. Um... You know, it just gives you gives you more op each each turn that you have after you cast Progress Day, it gives you more options. Um, afterwards, no. Ugh. And they have the two things with five power. I can't kill one of them. Ouch. My Timo. Ride onward. This 
This is our homeland! I don't want to play Fury of the North and then they harsh winds afterwards. You know, kind of thing. I'd, you know, you'd think they would harsh winds first, but I'd, I don't want to risk it. We'll just get that damage in, put them down to seven. Okay, we're not in, like, too much risk of dying right now. I, I wouldn't say. So, you know, like, they're at, they're at seven. They shouldn't have any life gain, as far as I know. We have five damage right here. Just need... I guess Ash. Ash is kind of scary. Well fought. Bow to no one. I need just a moment. Hmm. All right, now we can use Sejuani to basically finish this game out. It's the worst card in our deck, but still just a fine draw. Good enough. Because now leveled up Sejuani, we get to Mystic Shot their Nexus and Frostbite everything. My aim is true. Hopefully we have leveled up Sejuani. Because otherwise these things would be doing a lot of damage. You have never been strong enough. All right, so we know their top card is Crystal Arrow that does not have any puff caps. Um, we're going to try to give it a puff cap. Give it a puff cap. Nope. Bristle, attack. Stand and defend. I should just attack with these things, shouldn't I? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I, should, I probably should just pass turn. Honestly, that was probably my best bet. Was just pass turn. Um. Yeah, I should just pass turn. Yeah, I, I should I didn't. There was no reason to attack with that Sejuani right there. Took the bait. Beyond. Draw another card. Is it gonna have a puff cap? Oh, an Let fly. Puff cap. No puff cap. They've drawn three cards in a row with no puff caps. Cards in a row with no puff caps. Come on. <laughs> so close. Come on. 
Come on. Got that, finally. The Witcher's Claw triumphs! Yeah, Siren Burn is is viable. Um, like y'all know, you're asking me, I, I think everything is viable. I do think that uh, Misfortune Quinn is a more powerful deck, and I would be, uh, as far as mis Misfortune decks, um, I'd be going with Misfortune Quinn myself over Siren Burn, but um, yeah, if, if you want to play the Siren, that's definitely the best Siren deck um, I can recommend. Elise Darius. Hello. Let's not keep all these four drops. Let's keep Babbling Beard as a four drop. I think I'd rather draw Sejuani than draw two Mushroom Clouds, right? Like, isn't that isn't Sejuani better than two Mushroom Clouds? I feel like that's a true statement. I guess to be fair, the bird the bird deck's not really a deck. <laughs> I guess yeah, the, the bird deck we played yesterday isn't really a deck. I'll try anyone. But that was fun. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. Ow. So much damage. I would like to block. Please don't have transfusion. Gross. Is that all? That's a good turn four. Double in double demolitionist house spider transfusion. Wiped me out pretty good. Pretty good. As a convenient life total to have when you have a 10 power card. Wait, this one would check. Ugh, one out of five? Sejuani. Close to leveling up this Sedwani. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. See why I'm still like a yodel in uniform. I have my orders. 
All right, gonna Mystic Shot this thing before they get to attack and get that extra point of damage in. Bang. All right, uh, let's see. So we have eight mana next turn. Nine mana. So given these puff caps, I want them to start drawing puff caps to start leveling up Sejuani. That's the goal. There we go. I guess technically one's not dead. Make it three. The calm before the storm. Keeping this to be another Sejuani for me. Even though, yeah, I could have discarded the Sejuani, keep the progress day, and then I get to, you know, progress day this turn, draw three cards. Maybe that works out for me. Sejuani is just worth three cards most of the time. So it's kind of the problem with just looking at the records and just making conclusions after the records. Like somebody in here says that ephemeral decks are really bad right now. Um, I wouldn't. I mean, I just wouldn't agree with that. Yes, we went. Yes, we lost five games in a row. Um, but like the first, the first three of those games were so close. Um, you know, like, all, all three of them I thought I was going to win, like, they had to have, like, you know, one game, you know, they had to play Ezreal and have every single card left in their hand be burn spells that dealt exact, le exact lethal to me, like, the turn that I was lethal attacking, the next turn, the next game, like, we were going to have lethal attacking, but we drew, we are playing against, like, this deck, but we drew lethal puff caps the turn that we were going to be killing them, and they had, they had nothing in hand. Um... And they were just games like that. Like it was just, we, we every game we attacked turn two, turn four, so our our Zed never got to attack on turn three. My opponents had like a you know Teemo, Omen Hawk, uh, uh, what's the other Fizz? Like they just kept on having stuff to do right away. Um, 
on turn one, and, and it, yeah, it was just games that were just real close, and we just lost. Like it, it happened. Doesn't mean the, the deck is horrible or anything like that. These wounds only make us stronger. Remember, like, just last week we went 5-0 with it. This week we went 0-5. I mean, it's just, there's there's variants that have, like, when you're only looking at a five-game subset, it's hard to look at just the, like, basically, you can't just look at the record and just make, uh, you know, vast statements about, like, definitive statements by just looking at a five-game sample size. Misfortune Fizz. So yeah, so like they, that at least just killed me. I, I obviously wish that you know, I could have I could have challenged like basically the thing that I just did wrong there is I, I needed to have my Sejuani challenge a spider. You know, they didn't have the Elise at the time, but I needed to challenge a spider. As it turned out. Um, and not not the Imperial Demolitionist. That was just that just cost me that game. So that's frustrating. So that was that was definitely my fault for losing that game of not thinking about Elise and three spiders and challenging a spider. This game's difficult. Sure about that? Not done yet. So Puffcat peddlers are really valuable. That chump that clump of lumps is not valuable at all. That's it's not a card to use an elixir of iron on. Puffcap Peddler, on the other hand, is quite valuable. Hmm. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. No, I haven't played Hecarim and Callista Ephemerals, no. Might be better to just play Teemo next turn. Not risk the Teemo. Let me show you what I can do. I have played Callista and Tecarim together, and I, I do like the combination of those two together, but I haven't played them with Ephemerals. I'm, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, the uh, our Unyielding Hecarim, I'm pretty sure that is Callista as the other champion that we're going to be playing up next. Let me show you what I can do. Looking for trouble? It found you. More for my collection. They grow up so fast. Success is Please don't kill my Teemo with one mana. We could probably save more than two life later with that clump of lumps. Probably. More for my collection. Armed and ready. So of course I could go chump lump and get another one of those and give them another. Um, 11 first. I have my order. But I wanted to hold up the elixir of irons to protect. We feast and so we're just gonna we're just gonna be playing this wolf rider. Help us get a little bit more mana. War Mason, reporting for duty. It's gonna be close. They're doing a lot of direct damage to me. 
Yeah, we're at nine right now. This thing it can attack, so we're effectively at eight. They'll never see it coming. Behind you. you died as you lived. Smell it. It's gonna be close. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. His Thresh deck, not Callista. That's right, that's right. Yeah, Thresh is great. I know I played Callista and Hecarim together in one of the decks uh, recently. Oh, yeah, the Endure... Yeah, that's right. The They Who Endure deck. That's what it was. Yep. That's what it was. Yeah, and, and we had some... Yeah, we had ephemeral stuff with that deck. Come on. Yeah, I mean... Now the one... This is so close. Come on, hopefully this works out. No, don't have another fast spell. No. Right. Said nine. Said nine damage. Just nine fast speed damage. Just direct damage. Dang. Yeah, that was a game that obvi obviously, you know, like we have another 10 life, like both players, like we would win super easy, but they just barely squeaked out that 20 first. That's how today's been going, though, you know, like just squeaked that one out. The, the game before, you know, if I challenge a spider, we probably win, but I didn't, so we lost. That's just how today's been going. All right, we're going to keep Battle Fury team out. Let's have some fun. <laughs> like. You know, if this loses, it loses, but we're gonna try to battle Fury Teemo. Yeah, that's just kind of how days go. Yesterday, everything was going right for us. You know, we went 5 0, 4 1, 4 1. Um, you know, 13 and 2 overall, which is an insane record, but now, you know, today, well, the opposite. Hey, it's all good, Flindo. Let's. That's how today's gone for us. Me. But yeah, GG's there. It's good, good top deck. GG's. Um, I'm gonna get in there while it's safe. You know, if I play like Peddler. Out there. Okay, so it still would have been safe. Um, do I want? Peddler or Starlight Seer? We'll just go Peddler. If we go Starlet Seer, I would have, you know, potentially a five mana thermogenic beam next turn, or five damage. Which the five damage is, is important because of Ash. If they had Ash with Elixir of Iron. Not and ready. But it does not appear to be the case. Who goes there? I need just a moment. Line up. Uh, blessed by snow and stars. <laughs> I they want to kill my team out. Save 
Save the homestead. Light the signal fires. I can definitely be convinced that that is an incorrect block with the Starlet's here. Keeps their Sejuani from leveling up and, you know, something's going to be trading with that eventually anyway. Hey, what's up, Fima? You were playtesting this archetype um, for some time lately, so I came by this list. You want to check it out? Okay. I will check it out. Okay, you were playing the pickpocket. I was thinking about doing that. Yeah, it's very, very close to the list I'm playing. Basically, the only difference is I don't have pickpocket. I have like some some extra four Pain drops. Is nothing. And this battle fury. You own what you take. That's gonna wreck. But yeah, very similar list for sure. Today we fight as one. My It's possible I'm supposed to play the Omen Hawk first. Okay, they just let that happen. Because of I will unite the Freljord. You have never been strong enough. Hmm. Because of harsh winds. Yeah, I mean, you can try, like, there's, question is, is Vimer control viable even if you only have two of each Vi and Heimerdinger? I mean, you can definitely try it, like, the, uh, there's not a, a huge difference between, um, there's, there's real, honestly not, like, that big of a difference between two and three in a deck. Like, there's a much bigger difference between playing zero copies of a card and one copy of a card, just, like, percentage-wise of, like, times drawing it than two or three. Yeah, these puff caps are pretty good. So that's what I was kind of thinking. That's why I didn't get excited the Ash, because I was really worried about, like, if I could try to get excited to Ash if they had Elixir of Iron, that would be really bad. So I was thinking that, like, if I, um... If I didn't, like, I could maybe, they could maybe draw a puff cap, level up my Sejuani, I could get excited them to frostbite all their stuff. Um, they don't have any kind of challenger. 
I should just kill this thing. I refuse. Blessed by snow and stars. I'll show you how it's done. The Dreamo. Success is planting your mushroom crop. Reporting in. Yeah, Timo's pretty good at a, at a four four. Come on, Timo, get there. Boo. The time is right. Strike now. Oh, harsh wind. So why did they do that? Why didn't they do that in response to the reckoning and just have my Timo die? I don't know why they didn't, but I'm glad. Kind of the bad part about doing the puff cap thing right now is now they can still play 10 mana worth of attackers and I can't can't frostbite them again. The fruits of conquest. Hmm. Will no one listen? Show me a target. Avarosans, stand together. So that's ten damage. Avarosa, guide me. So not only do they level up, but we know so we know their top card they're gonna be drawing with this crystal arrow is not going to uh, not gonna have any puff caps on it. Guess I cast this thing and just give them more puff caps. Try to put puff caps on that crystal arrow, I guess. Unless they're gonna have a, a culling strike. It's hard to say. Yeah, should be game. Should be game. I can't think of anything they can play to stop me. That's what I'm kind of just doing right now, thinking anything that stops this. And not really coming up with anything. Tavern Keeper. Yeah, Tavern Keeper is a thing. So I should probably just cast both these right now. Why would I attack with Sejuani? I mean, they'll just block with their 7 toughness Sejuani. And just maybe something can go wrong. 
if they have if they have some kind of pump. Maybe something goes wrong, my Sejuani dies, now suddenly I don't have the ability to frostbite their team at fast speed by using Get Excited. There's 0% chance Sejuani does any damage, and there is a greater than 0% chance my Sejuani dies, and there's a... Uh, and so, like, therefore, like, just those two things together, it doesn't really make sense to attack with it, but, um, yeah, like, it, there's a there's a chance that, you know, during during their next combat, if they don't draw a puff cap, they go to combat, I need to get excited them, you know, they frostbite my team again, I need to, fr I need to uh, get excited them to frostbite their whole team, so I need my Sejuani. Alright, so we're gonna mulligan Teemo. Which sounds a little weird, but basically I don't want to play it on turn one. Who goes there? A Twisted Fate deck, like they have part like a lot of them play parlays, but then also make it rain. Like they're gonna kill my Teemo right away. And I do not want my Teemo to die. And therefore. Therefore, if I don't want to play Teemo on turn one and I'd wait like a long time to play it anyway, I'm just going to mulligan it and uh, play some other stuff and we'll, we'll draw a Teemo later. Night Owl! 42 awesome months! Thank you so much there, Night Owl. You're awesome, thank you. Third sub of the day. We got a bunch of, speaking of owls, we got a bunch of owls in play right now. They have two owls, I have one. I like thermogenic beaming that thing. I think that the I think that's a good play for me. Problem. They play Sejuani. They play Sejuani. I need thermogenic beam to deal with Sejuani. It's not a one, it's a need. This would be a good winter. I don't think they'll just do two damage. Wow. Right after I just double Starlet Seer and pump something up twice. Pilfered goods. Ugh. Ouch. Yes! I had a champion on top. Yes, that's perfect. Get that Starlet Seer bonus still, they don't get it. That's unfortunate that it's doing damage to me. Turning on plunder, they got another pill for goods. Yeah, Mr. Jubilo, I'll check it out. So leveled up Teemo. So 
sorry about it. This land is ours. How's it playing for you, Mr. Jublo? Ooh, three puff caps. You own what you take. That's a lot of puff caps. Obviously, my worst case scenario is they have their own Sejuani. Hopefully not. Stand and fight. Honestly, I probably should have used my Puff Cat Peddler to challenge the Starlet Seer and then just attack for seven as well. Eh. Wanna work I said Starlet's yeah the, the yeah the pedal. Yeah. Eh. Wanna work anyway. The fruits of conquest. Blessed by snow and stars. Peddler's doing some work. There's Teemo. And we got leveled up Teemo. It'll be a 4-4. A leveled up 4-4. That's what I'm talking about. Harsh Winds is a good card. We have Harsh Winds in our deck. Oh, did they... Was that my Harsh Winds? That probably was my Harsh Winds, wasn't it? That's a card I don't think we have drawn so far, have we? Have we drawn Harsh Winds? I don't think that we have. So if I Thermogenic Beam this, and then they have Elixir of Iron, what does my turn look like? Still not that bad, right? See, that's only 5 power. Even if they have Elixir of Iron, still not that bad. Draw a puff cap. Be five out of five. No puff cap. <laughs> Another day in the field. You know what? I should I should have led with Trump Lump. I should have led with Trump Lump. I have all the I have the extra man. I should have led with Trump Lump. And have them play stuff, and then maybe they take on they they're on a well unaware of the Teemo. Yeah, this is this is poor sequencing. I should should lead with the jump on. My friends though. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. More for my collection. Blessed by snow and stars. Anyway, uh eat low. At lo at low? At Lao, maybe. Um, you know, no matter what, thank you so much for that resub. You are awesome. Thank you very much. I think. I think I'm okay just keeping one elixir of iron up. I don't think I need both. So we want to give them the most puff caps. That gave them another 16 puff caps. Instead of tw doubling 20 to 40, we're doubling 36 to 72. There's a lot. There's a big difference between 40 and 72 puff caps. <laughs> a big difference. At Lau. Okay. Well, thank you, At Lau. All right, Agent Iowa. Yeah. Have a good night. I just didn't draw a puff cap. 
They have 72. They didn't draw one? <laughs> Dang. 70 when 72 is not enough. Obviously, targets my one toughness thing. So, targets the Starlet Seer. I can save Starlet Seer with Elixir of Iron. But I think I would just want the spot anyway. Chump Womp it up. Each one of these being another 13. Or, sorry, total being another 16 puff caps, each one being 8. That car I'll save. I've always been a fun guy. Oh, that's a harvest right there. And I want to give them to them as soon as possible in case they have something that draws cards. Blessed by snow and stars. They're at 91. This is a Teemo Mushroom Cloud, so we'll keep it in case Teemo dies. Somehow. They're trying to turn. They're trying to level up their Sejuani. So it certainly feels like. Could keep them from level. You know, from getting the plunder trigger by casting Elixir of Iron, but that's probably not worth it. <laughs> Five buff caps. Cat Plunder. Honestly, like this this deck was really fun to play. And you know, like like I said at the beginning, definitely looking forward to this deck. Um No, nah, not really, Chief. Uh yeah, so this this deck was really fun to play. And just this the strategy in general, and I really like this list. I honestly really liked our list. I like these different one ofs. I like the Babbling Bjerg, the Wolf Rider, the Battle Fury. Um yeah, I, I really like this list. The uh, the two games that we lost were super, super close. Another, like, one decision, you know, here or there could have got there. They were so close. Um, this really could have been a 5-0, you know, just like that. Like, it was, uh, both those losses were so close. But, um, yeah, this is this is a fun deck. This is definitely my, my kind of deck. I really like... Uh, these Freljord cards and Sejuani and of course Teemo and Puff Caps. Puff Caps are just fun because like the randomness in them. Um, yeah, they're just pretty fun because they're not. It's not like they're overpowered, you know. Like it's not they're not overpowered or anything, but fun deck to play. All right, so if you're if you're uh, interested in some Teemo Puff Caps, definitely try out this list. I really really like this list. All right, but that's it here for uh, Puff Cap Plunder. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.